So you know that thing I do where I complain about things and people that annoy me on social media? Yeah, I'm going to be doing that again today. Because I'm going to be talking about why I tend to listen to actual experts on subjects over people that pertain to be experts on subjects on social media. Now we all know the drill with social media, right? Social media has become very, very, very widespread and has given a voice to everybody. Even people who should know when to shut the fuck up because they say too much. Isn't it ironic? Don't you think? And thus it's also given rise to a bunch of people given takes where they have no idea what the hell they're on about, yet for some reason the Dunning-Kruger effect has given them the idea that even when it comes to actual experts, they know more than these people do. For example, about a month or two ago, there was Miami Dolphins player named Tua Tagivaloa, who suffered two concussions within a week because of the lax concussion protocol that went on from the Miami Dolphins doctors. Dr. Christopher Nowinski, absolute legend, former professional wrestler, founder of the Concussion Legacy Foundation, went on TMZ Sports and spoke about all the things the Miami Dolphins did wrong, what the NFL did wrong, and why he's beginning to get pissed off with the lax protocols in regards to concussions with American football. Now, the man's clever. The man is highly, highly intelligent. Only Harvard graduate in WWE history, as far as I'm aware. He was when he was wrestling, but the man's wrestling career ended because of post-concussion syndrome. He got a lot of concussions, went into looking up the effects of concussions, post-concussion syndrome, and formed the CLF. And yet you had people in the comments trying to disagree with him, tell him he's full of shit. Talk about how the man's just got a bias against football, like the man doesn't dissect people's brains and study them for a living. Now, maybe it's just me, but when I've got a really, really smart guy who has a doctorate in neuroscience, and who has spent the last decade and a half studying brains and is the reason why the roid rage arguments kind of shut down for the most part when it came to Chris Benoit, when that really, really smart guy is saying too many hits to the head will fuck your brain up permanently versus some fat ass on a couch saying he doesn't know what he's talking about. I kind of think I'm going to listen to the really, really fucking smart guy who studies brains for a living because I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty damn sure that the dude that studies brains for a living knows exactly what goes on with people's brains Especially when they keep getting fucked up. Maybe that's just me, but that's how I roll. It's like Instagram, the cesspool of spam bots and e-thoughts that it is. Arnold Schwarzenegger posted some videos of him as a bodybuilder giving advice to bodybuilders and people wanting to lift weights. And you had people in the comments telling Arnold he had no idea what he was talking about. That he was wrong, his form was wrong, and Arnold's opinion was wrong. This is Arnold Schwarzenegger talking about bodybuilding. Now, if Arnold Schwarzenegger were to walk up to me while I'm lifting weights and say to me, that is a really good weightlifting program you are on, but slamming your genitalia in a car door is the quickest and most effective way to gain muscle mass rapidly and get to the size you want to be, Bro, I'm finding the next car I can find. I don't give a shit if it ruins my chances to have kids. My meat and potatoes is getting slammed as hard as it can into the nearest car it can by a door. Because who the fuck am I to argue with Arnold Schwarzenegger about bodybuilding? Again, it comes down to who I'm listening to. Freaking Conan the Barbarian versus some six chin lard factory on a couch sitting next to two empty buckets of fried chicken. Who the hell do you think I'm gonna listen to, bruh? I know these people think they're smart. And that's the worrying thing is they don't think that often. I'm going to listen to intelligent, well-educated experts in fields, not because I am a sheep, but because it's these people's job or these people's livings or livelihoods or whatever. 
These are the motherfuckers that know what they're on about. It's the same with medical science. It was the same with COVID, where you had every uneducated three-tooth moron that dropped out of school at age 12 trying to convince us that all of the doctors and scientists worldwide that were telling us what COVID was, how to prevent spread, precautions to take, and so on, these three-tooth hillbillies were the ones trying to claim, nah, I know what I'm talking about, it's all bullshit. Versus these people whose job it is to study their shit saying, no, it's not, do this. It's not a case of, you're a sheep. It's a case of, I listen to experts over morons. And maybe that's just me and maybe that makes too much sense, but that's just how I roll, right? It's like I'm playing ice hockey and Alex Ovechkin's like, yo, here's how you score a really effective goal. Versus my mate who can't skate and has never watched a game of ice hockey trying to tell me how to score a goal. Pretty sure I'm going to listen to the guy that's going to break Wayne Gretzky's goal record in the next few years. It's not being a sheep. It's a simple process of rubbing two brain cells together and going, who knows more? Some guy that's actually educated or some nimrod that reckons they've educated themselves because their research consists of confirmation bias, arrogance, and absolute stupidity with stubbornness thrown in for good measure. I don't pretend to be a genius myself, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to listen to the people who know what they're on about. It's just that simple, people. I'd like to think you guys are smart enough to follow that train of thought, so hey, sound off in the comments, let me know what you think. I'm Damien Skyfire, till next time.